Okay, so number three, I'm going to model for you on worksheet one. And this worksheet, of course, is dealing with the basics of analytical chemistry and how it ties into the uh, mole concept of comparing individual atoms to build chemical formulas. Like we did on the first page, we saw that we can build an empirical and eventually a molecular mass from two different types of lab experiments by comparing the ratios. This is a very similar type of question where I'm asking you to build the chemical formula from something other than just no, giving the percentages by mass. So this is one of the techniques that they get the percent by mass of the individual elements. Okay, if you notice in the questions uh, one and two, they just gave you what? They asked, they gave you the actual percentages. They got that from a laboratory technique and one to technique to get the percentages in order to build the empirical formula is something called combustion analysis. So we're going to take an unknown compound. Okay, that compound has a carbon, it has a hydrogen, and it has an oxygen in it. And we're going to react it with excess oxygen. And they call this combustion analysis because the products of combustion being CO2 and water are, is, is what's going to be used to get the percentages of at least a carbon and hydrogen. Now we're going to burn this okay, high, um, organic compound that has the three elements listed here in excess oxygen. That means we're going to make all of these carbon and hydrogens react. We're not going to have un, any unreacted by Le Chatelier's principle. We're going to drive the reaction to completion to the forward reaction. Okay. Now, what piece of information they give us? Well, when we burn off all this uh, organic compound in excess oxygen, we yield, which means, fancy word for saying we get, okay, uh, 1.56 grams of water. So 1.56 grams of water was made, okay, as part of the um, combustion products, and we get 3.83 grams of CO2. Of course, we started with what? We started with a 1.45 gram sample. Okay, so we've driven off and burned off this organic into its components, and we've massed out and separated the water from the CO2, and we know exactly how many grams. Obviously, these two numbers will mass out to 1.45 because of conservation of mass. Okay, so the first step is now to find the percent by mass of carbon in CO2. Since CO2 is a chemical formula, since a compound with a distinct and unique chemical formula, um, it should be retained as its individual percentage that's going to stay constant. So what I do here, get rid of that doohickey, what I do here is to find that percent by mass, I'm going to do part over total. So I'm going to find the um, I'm going to find the mass of carbon over the total mass of CO2 to find that percentage or that fraction of carbon over CO2, and then times it by this number to get the, gra the, the, the grams of carbon or the percentages. Either way, so let's go to the periodic table and let's go find carbon. And I'm just on your uh, reference table or your periodic table AP. And it's 12.01, so I'll use that. Notice this number is the atomic number. So let's get rid of that guy. So this is 12.01. So we're going to take this. And we have 12.01 over the total mass. The total mass is going to be 12.0 plus 2 times oxygen. And oxygen is 16.00 in this reference table. So let's do that. So we get the fraction to be 0.2729. Let's put it. So 27.3%. If you want to times by 100 to get the percentage, you can. But I'm going to use this fraction. Why? I'm going to take this number, and now I'm going to times it by the total mass of the CO2. And knowing that 27.3% of it is carbon, I'm going to find the grams of carbon. So I times that by... 3.83 and I get 1.045 grams of carbon. Easy. Okay. Now I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do all right. Hydrogen. 
All right, for higher, Jim, what I did was I took the two H's. Each H is one apiece. Now I know it's 1.008, but that's really insignificant. You can I round it to one. I can do that. And you can round it to the other one, 12.01 to one. It's not going to change your answer. Uh, probably should have stayed consistent, but hey, I'm tall. Okay, and of course, there's two H's and there's one oxygen. We know that one oxygen, of course, is a molecular mass of 16 per mole. Okay, and we're assuming we have one mole of water. What would be the percent? Two grams over 18, you get 0.111. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to times it by the 1.56, which is how many grams of hydrogen? And that's going to give me the amount of grams of hydrogen. Nothing too difficult. And I get uh, point. 1733 grams of hydrogen. So my hydrogen is, is my hydrogen is 0.1733 grams. Now I'm going to add these two together and subtract by my initial mass of my organic compound, and that should give me my oxygen. Okay, pretty basic stuff here. 0.045 plus 0.1733. And I get a magical number, not really that magical, but 1.2183. I'm going to subtract that from my 1.45, and that will give me my oxygen. So 1.45, subtracting 1.2183, and I get 0.2317 grams of oxygen, which I'll put down here. 0 0.2317 grams. Okay, and that's how I got my grams. Now, I know that in this problem, they wanted the percent by mass of each of the elements. So, all I can do is I can take these grams and divide by the total mass given, and that's pretty simple stuff. So let me just clean up some things here. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, and let's clear all of this up. If you need to look at that some more, you certainly could just rewind the video. Okay, so back to reality, and up there goes, you know, set it, gravity. So, take this 1.045 grams over the total, that's the part, that's the carbon that we got for percent by mass, over 1.45 grams times 100, because they're looking for a percent by mass, and let's do that. 1.045 divide by 1.45 and that gives me 72.1 percent. So 72.1 percent of the entire mass of carbon is, uh, entire mass of the compound is due to the carbon. Okay, let's just keep this color coordinated like I usually am not. Okay, so I take 0.1733 divided by my total 1.45 gram times by 100, and we get 0.17733, big finger here, 1733 divided by 1.45, and that gives me 11.95%, and I guess we'll go back to black here, and we'll go 0.2317 over the total, which is 1.4%. 5 times 100. What do we get? 0.2317 divided by 1.45 and I get about something like 15.97, 15.98 percentages. Now these won't exactly add up to 100 because uh, I did some rounding in these percentages so if I kept all the raw numbers it would approximate it nicely. So that's that's question uh, the first part of the question is there are the answers of the percent by masses, and that's where these percentages come from. Okay, they get these percentages by laboratory techniques, and um, clearly um, combustion analysis is one of them. Okay, last, th last stop here. Let's go find the empirical formula. Okay, now I can use these grams and divide by the percentages. I can assume by a 100 gram sample and use these, or I can use these grams here. It doesn't not matter. I'm just going to use these grams here. So 
Uh, I'm going to convert to moles here, so 1.045. Okay, grams, get rid of grams. Grams go below. Carbon is 12.01. Uh, we can just uh, use 12. That's fine with me. And, of course, uh, we have one mole up top. And we'll do the rest. So I set up the problem, getting rid of my grams, simple conversions, converting to moles. And you should know why. We're going from a how what, heavy number, to a how many. Since you're trying to find the ratio of how many of each of these atoms to find a formula. So let's go find these, these moles. All right, so I solve for my moles. And now we're going to divide by the smallest number. The smallest number is oxygen, 0.01. So when I divide by 0 0.01448 by 0 0.01448, okay, this gives me a ratio of 1, okay. Divide this by 0 0.01448, and what I'm trying to do is find, trying to find ratio. So I divide by the smallest number, okay. So if you don't see this, 0 0.1733 divided by 0 0.01448, this gives me 11.96. You can it's close, very close to a whole number. The reason why it's not coming out perfect is because of our rounding here. But that 11.97 is approximately 12. You can make that rounding. It's close to a whole number, very close. And of course, the next one is 0.0871. Divide by the smallest number is 0.01448. We'll put that here. For your viewing pleasures, 0 0.01448, and I get 6.01. Well, 6.01 is approximately 6, and there are my ratios, and that's how you do the problem. So the answer is uh, carbon 6, H12, and 1 oxygen. So you don't have to put the 1 there, and that's how we do that problem. Good luck. Go on to the, the number 4.